keep telling myself, what does it matter? So I see Jeff in a nightclub with another woman. I mean, you know, what's the big deal? I thought you were just going to ring him up, ask him straight out. Oh, I just didn't have the bottle. I mean, what am I supposed to say to him? Who is that woman I saw you with? You tell me to mind my own business and slam the phone down. Well, don't be daft. You're supposed to be together. You've got a right to know if you've seen someone else. Oh, I just don't know what the rules are with someone like him. What do you mean, rules? You don't have rules in relationships. You go by what you feel. I know, but what I'm feeling at the moment is like some silly school kid. That's really going to impress him, isn't it? Oh, do me a favour. Look, will you stop worrying about what Jeff thinks? Everyone gets jealous. There's no age limit. I think he does. Well, there's something wrong with him, then. Uh, Kathy? Oh, yeah? Um, Alan said you're on the model bringing over. What? You know, off the stall. What, are you giving me an then? Yeah, we've got all this fruit and stuff in. Oh, and we've got some tropical stuff as well. Well, I don't get much call for tropical fruit in here, but I'll just make a list of my usual, all right? All right. Okay. Oh, Robbie, about that break-in last week. What about it? Well, you know they caught the kids that did yeah, it, didn't you? Alan said. Well, I just... I just want to say sorry if there's any misunderstanding. Look, Kathy, it's all right. Don't worry. If I was in your shoes, I'd dare say I think I'd done it as well, eh? Cheeky <laughs> tip of that one, honestly. <laughs> Michelle, will you snap out of it? One thing you've got to remember is that Jeff is the one who's lucky to have you. It's not the other way around. This is a mistake. I know it is. Be daft. You're only asking him around for supper. No, it's not the supper that's worrying me. It's what I'm going to say to him. Hello? Oh, uh. Sorry, I must have got the wrong number. I wanted to speak to a Jeff Barnes. Oh. Right, fine. I don't believe this. What's up? She's round at his house. What do you mean? That woman, she's just answered the phone. You're joking. She must have stayed the night, mustn't she? Hello? Yeah, hi, Jeff. It's me, Michelle. No, I'm fine. How are you doing? Hi, Oh, it's great to see you. You all right? Oh, I'm sorry. Look, come and sit down. Not only if I should have a cup of coffee, will you? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm sorry, Kath. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's my own fault. I never should have gone. What do you mean? I went to the car lot. Oh, I don't know why. I just had to go and look. Oh, dear. It's so pathetic, Kath. So empty. I know. It's awful. Thanks, love. Thanks. I mean, it's just so stupid. It's only a building. Oh, not even that. Just a blank space. I can't believe it ever had anything to do with Dad. Natalie? I said you could work all day. I meant work. I ain't about earwig in people's conversations. Oh, well, excuse me. I'm only clearing the table. Bye. Sorry about that. What a chink. What's up? Well, he didn't say anything about who she was, what she was doing there. Michelle. Oh, so sorry. Hello, Diane. I didn't Problems. see that. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. He was as cool as anything. He'd have been on the phone for half an hour if I'd let him. So what's happening? He coming round or what? Oh, that's another thing. I ask him round to dinner. He says he's going out. So he says, what about lunchtime instead? So? Well, so that means I've got to run around and get a meal ready in two minutes flat. Why don't I do it? Why didn't I just give him a mouthful and put the phone down? I mean, I must have a screw loose. Tell Sharon I'm sorry they're a bit late, all right? OK. And tell her thanks again for bailing us out with the freezer and everything. She yeah. saved my life. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Drop dead, will you? <laughs> Hi, can you give us uh, some change for the uh, phone? Yeah. Please. Who's the... Uh, who's the blonde one, Michelle? Keep your beady eyes off. That's Frank Butcher's daughter. Never. <laughs> What's she doing here? Well, that's her business, isn't it? I wonder what the old devil's up to now. Do you know, if your nose grew any longer, you'd trip over it. Morning. Look, I'm ready to get the game. Yeah, so should I. Michelle, um, is it true that Cathy and Phil are an item now? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah can I have extension 236, please? Mm, no, they get on really well. I don't know why they didn't get together ages ago. They're business partners as well. Yeah. Brought Dad out in his rock bottom, isn't that right? Hi, right, Josh. Poor oh, Dad, eh? Couldn't win, could he? Mm. Listen, I'm onto something that might interest you. Are you off then? Yeah. Feel you better now? Yeah, fine. All right. Thanks for the coffee. Oh, that's all right. Oh, yeah. good luck. Thank you. <laughs> it's like coming in this place. Bits of cars all over the place. Old tyres. I still like the smell. Sort of dirty, hot and oily. I never felt that way about my dad's place. I thought it was really something, mind. Dead glamorous. Those sparkling cars and the bunting in there. Used to look like a fairground. I went there this morning. Looks terrible. There's nothing left. Just an old wreck. And there's this place. Just the same as it always was. Doesn't seem right somehow, does it? No. 
And I said like this fellow, did I? Say that again. I mean, look at you. You've got your own business, your own place. You've got Cathy. Life's pretty good for you right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad. And your dad. He's got no money, no home, no self-respect. Nothing. I'm sorry. Is that all you can say? Well, what else am I supposed to say, eh? Try telling me about the fire. What made you do it? Look, Diane, I know this might be hard for you to understand, but we weren't around. You didn't see what was happening to your dad, what he was up against. He had the cab company folding. He had mortgage problems, tax problems. He had debts all over the place. He wasn't just desperate. He was at the end of the line. So you weighed in and persuaded him to wipe out the one asset he's got left? What? I mean, of all the stupid crackpot ideas. Tell me about it. I mean, everyone knows fires don't work. The insurance never pays out. And yet he went along with it. My poor, desperate, stupid old dad went along with it. Somebody died, Phil. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Of course it does. I ain't stopped thinking about it. It's at the back of my mind like some sort of nightmare. So how much were you supposed to get out there? You what? Your cut, your share. W what are you talking about? You'd got the flat, you'd got the cafe. I mean, how much were you supposed to be cleaning up this time? 20%? 30? Why couldn't you just leave him alone? I know how much your dad means to you. And I know what you want me to say, but I can't. I didn't make Frank do anything. I fired the car lot because he asked me to. I didn't do it for money, not even for friendship. I wish I had it done, because I'd feel a lot better about it right now. What do you mean? I did it because he was desperate. I, I did it because I owed him one. And that's all.